I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? Teresa. Teresa, where are you from? Uh, Perth. Perth. Perth in Australia. Australia. Yeah. Down under. Down under. <laughs> so, yes, yes. You came up to us. Okay. Yes, yes. Hopefully going higher. Yes, I see it already, man. Yes, you, yeah. uh, you are going high. <laughs> You're flying, no? Yes. What happened to you? Um, oh, I had a conversion when I was 24. Yeah. Um, and prior to then, I was in, in the wrong crowd, wrong scene, taking drugs, really depressed. Um, and then delved into things that I shouldn't have, um, tarot card reading, and then I had uh, spiritual experiences that were negative um, and was really in need of help. And it was over a period of about a year and a half until I ended up going to a camp uh, with my sisters. It was a Catholic camp uh, and that's when I started having my conversion where God started to move and started to work very rapidly and quickly. Um, and then the time span of about um, maybe six or well, six months after the camp then one night I just had love just pouring into my my soul um, and I never understood what it was and from so that you didn't specifically that ask like Jesus come no into my no life just lying console. in my lying in my bed mm -hmm. but I, I can't really I can't even explain um, just that, yeah 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 so and from that um, just in yeah, continual prayer, my whole life changed. My mum stood in my room one day and I got rid of all the stuff in my room. Mm -hmm. And she was just standing there. I have eight brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And she just said, uh, I said to her, are, are you shocked mum that everything I have now is, you know, related to Jesus? Mm -hmm. She was just... Yeah, Did your mum was... Um, like a believer? Or? Yeah, yeah. So we're Catholic. Like we went to mass every Sunday, but that was that was it. Like paper so, Catholics, as you call, or cultural Catholics. Oh yeah, you could say that. Mm. So yeah, it was different. Um, and then from then on, mm -hmm. um, I've just been blessed the whole time. So yeah, yeah. There's there's oh, there's just so much that God's done. Mm -hmm. I even left the church even after all the graces that I received. Mm -hmm. That was. Uh, yeah, last year I said left the church, not going to church, because mm -hmm. I was confused. Because I was looking at you know um, the Christian side of the faith in different ways that people uh, find God. Hit song, and, for example, um, Hit song United. Um, no? it's, it's sort of and like looking as Catholics, we were you know worship Jesus in the Eucharist. Mm -hmm. um, you pray, say the Rosary. Where, yeah, theirs is more different. They, they worship. We worship, but and um, it was just different. And mm -hmm. so I left in a way but coming here was a grace mm -hmm. out of the blue mm -hmm. but I knew two months ago that I was uh, called I had a calling mm -hmm. um, and so since I've been here the first mass I was so shut down and shut off mm -hmm. um, and I remember the priest said uh, you know being something like on the lines if you shut off you know it's not good there's mm -hmm. something wrong there mm -hmm. and I knew instantly and at that moment I'm like I have to like surrender well, yes. God already knows and I said well I don't know you need to do something and we've been here for like a week since we met Ollie and I believe that's our lady's grace um, Great man of God, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Radio, Radio Maria, I am, yeah. and you know, when I, as I said, and I get my testimony with you, it's so beautiful here. Uh, my 39th time here, and um, it's my first song. And you see what an effect he has on oh, you? Oh, yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely, with uh, my friend as yeah, well. There's another so one over got, there, yeah, nice yeah. to see you, Australia as well. Wow, wow, down under, yeah. where's the kangaroo? Are we eating yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing something over there. I yeah, think. yeah, riding them to church. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. We we'll just line them up and park them up. Yeah. So, and even in that, like, um, our lady is so delicate. Well, for me anyway, because I have difficulty sometimes just communicating with people. So I feel like we put Ollie in our in my life just to like help and like bring us to things, and we're like meeting people that I never thought we would actually meet. That's where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and we've only been, we're going to be here maybe for another week. So, just open. And before when I came, I was shut off and now like smiling, joking with my friends. So, yeah, that's, that's a huge thing for me. And you know, huge. they say that you can see Our Lady in the eyes of the people, they have kind eyes. Yes. Because silent joy, you know, and then you have that. Yes. Something also, happens, yeah, right? confession. I said to my friend looking yeah. through the pictures, I can see my face. There was a difference in the photos and yeah. then after confession. So, yeah. what would you tell people who are scared to go to confession? Um, 
I think it's worth it. I think God already knows, um, and the priest, he's, he, he, they, they just know they have a grace, so they don't remember, and they're not there for that. And you, they, there's a difference. There really is in the soul. So it's it's getting past that when you do. Um, it's like the everything's lifted. Everything is lifted. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. So it's worth going. And yes, even in, on a conscious, a human level, because mm -hmm. you know that God already knows and you've set it out and then you put your trust and by doing that, um, it helps you move forward as well because consciously you know that um, you, if you're not living the correct life, you're mm -hmm. not happy. You're, yeah, I was not happy. Everybody knows it in the conscious. It yes, yes. Feel, yes. Not right somehow, no? Yes. Say, no, no. Yes. no. Integral, uh, I don't know how you yeah. would describe it. You pray the rosary now? Pardon? You have yes, the rosary, you yes, pray? yes. Why do you Absolutely. pray the rosary? Why? Down under. Um, yeah, you're down <laughs> it because of, there's a difference. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a difference in my prayer life. And if I don't uh -huh. pray the rosary, if I don't pray, yeah. um, I just talk about, I talk of my own will. Where if I pray the rosary, I find there's a peace with it and I'm more discerning and when to talk and when not to. So I think, okay, maybe I shouldn't say this. So there's there's lots of graces. And I remember years ago, when I was really deep into my prayer, I used to meditate on the mysteries and light would come off the mysteries. And I had a, when I went to Mass and I had an experience of light opening up when Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit come upon these gifts, yeah, light, and that made me realize that mysteries is living and active. So it's like a dry mass, I suppose you could say. And for me, that was like a God showing me the the value of the rosary and the mysteries of Christ, because that is that yeah, that that's His life and with Our Lady. So and she always draws you to Jesus. Exactly, that's yeah. the role for Protestant yeah. fans. She only trusts us to Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's her role. it. Yeah, she's so lovely. Because yeah. you were in the Protestant field, I guess, not Christian. No, no, so, no, no. no. Ca always Catholic, but then looking at because I would see like you know looking at the Christian denomination, they go out and they do different things, and also met. Um, yeah. I was with her under deliverance for three and a half years, mm -hmm. um, and I met a beautiful charismatic group, mm -hmm. and so they they were. I just uh, their way of praying it was very different to my usual adoration, quiet rosary. Mm -hmm. So, just even being now, it's almost like God, Our Lady, understands where I was at, where I'm at, and like bringing it back, just bringing me back to the peace because that's really um, where discernment can really come. Is when you're in the peace and the quiet with the Lord. And how for do me, you get without the peace? emotional yeah, stuff? Yeah, exactly. So, so much this emotion. The emotion, and I, w I got to a stage. If I wasn't feeling happy or joy of the Holy Spirit, then, you know, then there's something wrong with me. But I was no. thinking, well, if I do it, and with the Lord, that doesn't make sense because the Holy Spirit comes through Jesus Christ. Yeah. So there's a lot. There's a lot. But I think yeah. I, have to. I see. It's so beautiful. You look at you. Yeah. You have this joy. Yes. And. Um, you know, there was a lady I met yesterday, she had a dream and she met Jesus and yeah. Jesus asked her, what are you doing for me? What are you doing oh, for Oh, the Jesus? priest, the priest said yeah. that and I realized yes. that I, I might maybe yes, speak a bit later because I have to go. Yeah. But uh, that was, I was at that mass and it made me realize, you yeah. know, what would I do for Jesus? What would you do for Jesus? Yeah, and, and I was I was thinking, oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like, I hope to to respond to whatever he asks. So to respond to him and just oh, after confession, there you go. Maybe it made it easier for me to say whatever the Lord wants. So I kind That's of good. have an understanding, but yes. I think now it's just opening up to God to prepare and open the doors for, for whatever it is. To be in the disposition, desire, right? To disposition, yes. To do his will. That's his, the secret, no? Yeah, not mine. Because be my will makes me not happy. Miserable, no? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yes. the last question, you said you, you met Father Slavko, Barbaric. And he, what um, did he tell is that you? the spiritual director? Oh no! no. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was just a couple of times. He's been to Australia three times. The first time he said there are two people here yeah. that have extreme inferiority. Mm. I knew that was straight away. It was my sister and I. Yeah. Um, and then um, a couple of things, but just the other one's a bit too long. Yeah. But one of them, he was just praying. Oh, you go forward and you pray. Mm -hmm. And he was praying in Croatian. Yeah. So he was just. And then he just in Croatian. Then he just said testimony. And he's not the first person. And I to thought, say, well, give testimony. Look, you're giving yeah, it now. Yeah, yeah. So just, just shows, you know, no matter how far away you are from God, 
Yeah. God already knows, and it's it's his will. It's his will. He knows. Um, he knows where you're at, and he's, he de yeah he decides everything to help us. We just and sometimes have to take the first step. And you you made yeah. it spin diving. It's better. His will is better than yours. You end up miserable. Oh, absolutely. And the last oh. question: What would oh. you tell people if I come to Metagoria? Um, I came um, shut down and shut off. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'd say it, it is so worth it because even where where I live, you don't speak about God really. It's like a, here, it's a, it's a lifestyle, and there's a peace. There's a peace, and it's undeniable. So even if you if, even if you're you're shut off, you don't believe. God believes and he does all the work and I think that's the miracle it's not what we do it's he he's doing it. he's doing through yeah. you it yeah. will be happy no yeah thank you so much yeah thank you